What do elite athletes, high-performing leaders, and you all have in common when operating in a state of peak performance? You place all of your attention and all of your energy into the present moment where all possibilities exist. What Steph taught me was that when we can drop our need to obtain our self-worth and our identity from our external accomplishments, we can drop into the present moment, which is the only place that we can do our greatest work and that we can show up as the best version of ourselves for those that we lead. We are living in a world where we are being called to solve complex, critical problems, to go beyond shareholder profits, and to use our businesses as a vehicle to create social impact. But in order to answer the call to greatness, we have to equip ourselves with the mindsets, the skills, and the strategies to be adaptable, to be resilient, and to lead with presence. How many of you would have been fired a long time ago if you talked to your coworkers the way that you talk to yourself? And if we value ourselves as a leader within our organization, regardless of what your title says, have to show up for yourself first. The relationship that you have with yourself directly reflects on the relationship that you have with your employees, with the people that you lead. Over the past 15 years, I've been driven to answer one question. What is it that unlocks the human potential that resides within all of us? I've learned that it's the internal game that drives external results. Nobody ever sped Kobe up. Nobody dictated what he did on the floor. He was always playing with poise. He was always playing from a place of being centered, a place of being grounded. Because he had the awareness to always come back to his breath whenever he, get, whenever he got knocked out of the present moment. When you can find your breath, you can find the, find the present moment. And when you can find that, you find that place within you that's always at peace, it's always at rest, and that is your innermost strength. After spending time with basketball's elite, I realized there were three areas of focus that helped them consistently deliver world-class performance. They found purpose in something bigger than themselves. They valued the present moment, and they focused relentlessly on the process. 